There is heavy police and law enforcement deployment in Kailicha after the Mandela Park backyarders clashed with law enforcement officials yesterday after their illegal structures were demolished in Kailicha. The backyard dwellers took to the streets after anti-lander invaders uh, invasion teams rather along with law enforcement officials demolished their structures chaos and violence erupted after law enforcement dispersed occupiers with rubber bullets and tore down their shacks which had been erected on land owned by the Kailicha Development Forum protesters are dem demanding houses from the Western Cape government and they have taken to the streets and burnt a golden arrow bus and blocked roads Black First, Land First, Western Cape will be in the area today too to show solidarity with the Mandela Park backyarders. They are calling on all to join in the building of homes for the dispossessed backyarders of Kailicha without delay. And joining us uh, live is ANN7 reporter Nasipi Same, live from Kailicha. A very good morning to you, Nasipi. Can you update us on what is happening on the ground? Any violence this morning? Very good morning to you and also to the viewers at home. We do know that um, yesterday um, protesters um, had a scuffle between the anti-land invasion team and law enforcement when they tried to demolish their structures at the piece of land behind me. Um, we do know that and they are occupying three pieces of land here in Kailicha, around Kailicha. And we do also know that um, uh, the government, the Western Cape government rather, um, does have an interdict um, and said that um, people should not be um, putting up structures on these pieces of land. However, I am now joined by Uput Simpiwe who will be telling us more. What are the reasons behind them putting up structures on these pieces of land? Oh, this land has been uh, uh, open for the longest time and the people didn't just wake up and drop this land. This land has been there for more than 20 years and the government has been promised the, back, the backyarders to build for them. And these people have been patient for the longest time because they have been every 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 person or, or, or the people who govern always come and promise that we're going to build and build. And the people have been watching, and the people now, they are fed up now. They're going to take the land and, and take it to them because they have given the government the chance and they've been the government of the, of the past as well. And then what is going to happen now is as much as the people destroy our sharks, we're going to make sure that this, 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 this city is ungovernable because we buy this material and it's not nice to see the people material destroyed. So we're going to make this city ungovernable and we're going to stop. We're going to mobilize and we're going to make sure that uh, we retaliate and then we are not responsible for what happened as they, they, they destroy our sharks. These people are not working. They don't make money. Only the one thing they need. They don't need a, a house with four rooms with two dogs, only a shark. So why must they destroy our sharks? So we're going to retaliate big time. Uh, but do, uh, this is yesterday was the third day and today is the fourth day that um, people are occupying these pieces of lands in Kailicha and um, the, the provincial government has um, gotten an interdict um, against the people who are building on this shack um, and there's a court order um, and the violence erupted yesterday between um, the, the, the land invaders, rather backyard dwellers and law enforcement. What is actually going to happen today should you carry on building um, with this interdict and they come and demolish again. We are, the backyarders are not, uh, we are not helping the government to make sure that they now wake up when they were sleeping for the longest time to try to wake up now and realize that they need this land, the land that they didn't care for, they ignored this land for the longest time. Hence I told you that uh, we didn't wake up, didn't, this land was not only available yesterday. It was, it was, this land was, was open for more than 10 years, for 20 years, and then we give them a chance. I was, uh, uh, some, of the, some, of, some of the children now were at school or personal trick were not even born when this land was open. The, the university now in this land is still open. So now they start to talk about the court interdict. Where were they? They were sleeping. Where were they sleeping? And I can tell you now, as 2017 May, we can argue this case and say we give them this land open. So what now? Um, we do also have um, Lindsay from the BLF in the Western Cape. Lindsay, can you just tell us, uh, we do know your stance on the land. Can you just tell us what are your thoughts on what's actually happening in Kailicha and other parts of the Western Cape where people are still um, battling um, on, on the land issue and also a lack of housing in this province? 
I think the position of BLF has always been clear that we are a land first movement, meaning that land was forcefully taken away from our people historically. And now we are seeing um, in 27 particularly that we are fighting for the return of our land. We can't be in 2017, 23 years now post-democracy, uh, so-called democracy, and still be landless in our, in, in our own in our own birth. 90% of this land still belongs to white people. How can it still be? This land right now is contested in terms of who owns this land. We're saying right now, people cannot continue to live as back backyarders in the country of our birth. We must be able to take the land. We must be able to have the land returned to our people so that we can have dignity again. For the Western Cape government, currently led by uh, the Democratic Alliance, it can't be right that our people remain landless in, in, the, in, the, in the city. It can't be right that under the ANC-led government of this country we remain landless. Jacob Zuma said, President Jacob Zuma said in his State of the Nation address that the willing buyer, willing seller method is not working. The land must be returned to our people because it was taken from our people. How is it then that the government, both in the Western Cape and nationally, cannot allow our people to occupy and take land for themselves? The people aren't even saying build us. They're saying we will build for ourselves. We will build our own places to stay on land that is open, is not being yeah. used. How then can we be maintained as, as landless people without homes? We should we have dignity in this country and we should be able to put the black majority of this country first and say we cannot remain as backyarders, we cannot remain as land, a landless people. The land must be returned and we must find ourselves amongst our people fighting for the return of our land. All people, regardless of where you, what political mm. formation you find yourself in, no matter what organization you come, you are a black person who is landless in this country. You must come out and defend people who want to take back the land. That's a principal position. Black people must unite. We must take back the land by any means necessary. We cannot allow malls like this to be created. Long it can't be right. There's open land here. People must occupy the land. We must defend the land. We call on all political formations, regardless of where you're from. Organizations must come together. Everybody must come together on the principal basis. We are black. We are landless. We've been dispossessed for 400 years. We must take back the land now. Thank you so much. That was Lindsay Mastop from the BLF, also standing in solidarity um, with the people from Kailicho who have decided to occupy these three pieces of land. Um, we also heard from Butsimpiwe earlier on saying that um, the government should provide houses for them as this piece of land behind us and also the other pieces of land that they've decided to occupy has been um, vacant for a very long time and they're calling on for the provincial government and also national government to provide for them lands and they are not asking for um, the government to build houses for them. They are saying that they can build it for themselves in the meantime. And we heard from the BLF sp national spokesperson saying that he's calling on every South Africans um, to, 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 to stand in solidarity with the people in the Western Cape and other parts of South Africa and, and take back the land. As we do know that um, the president also um, made an announcement during his State of the Nation address um, calling for the land expropriation without compensation. Ame, thank you so much for that update. They will obviously be crossing to you live a little bit later on as more developments become available. That was Nasipi Sami, our NN7 reporter, talking to Bialef in the Western Cape as well as a backyard dweller uh, as this is the fourth day uh, where people are occupying land in Kailiche despite a court interdict against this which has been issued by the government.